Hey, this is Lance here with PDI Performance Diesel Inc. Today we're going to walk you through a step-by-step -step installation on one of our newest exhaust manifolds. It's our ISX and X15 Cummins. We're going to be installing it on this 2021 Peterbilt 389 with the X15 Cummins. All right, our first step here in the replacement of your Big Boss exhaust manifold is to drain the coolant from the truck system. On this truck, we are using a 5 16 Allen head, but each truck may be a little bit different on the drain port for your coolant. We remove the cap completely from the overflow tank to ensure the coolant is drained all the way. Now we move into removing the intake piping. We find it easier and better workability around the engine to remove it completely, starting with loosening the clamps and removing the piping completely from the engine. Okay, next we'll move over to the compressor intake tube and remove it completely from the compressor. Moving on to the compressor front cover or adapter, we like to remove it and get it out of the way. Next, we will cut the zip ties and undo the electrical connections for the sensors on the compressor housing of the turbo. From here, we go to the bottom side, removing the oil drain tube from the bottom of the turbine housing. From there, we will go to the NOx sensor, removing it from the adapter, undoing the V-band clamps and completely removing the exhaust side adapter. Once all of the coolant lines, electrical connections, and the oil supply line to the turbo have been removed, you now have four bolts to remove for complete removal of the turbo. Next, to prepare for removal of the OE exhaust manifold, we will remove the back pressure sensor tube and the additional coolant line seen here. We prefer to remove both clamps from the EGR bellow to make for easier removal. One thing to note, the flex bellow on the EGR portion of this manifold, trucks will have a variance here between the original slip joint design and the flex bellow. Our replacement flex bellow will work on both applications. All right, so we're giving you a side-by-side -side view here of our PDI Big Boss exhaust manifold in comparison to your stock OE manifold that comes stock on your Cummins engines from 2010 through 2020-21. One thing you notice is obviously the shiny exterior coating. It goes much deeper than that. We start with an HSM material or a high silicon molybdenum, which enables this manifold to withstand those heat cycles as it heats and expands and cools and contracts, retaining its true natural shape to avoid any exhaust leaks on the cylinder ports, the uh, exhaust flange for the turbo, your EGR elbow, everywhere that there's a fitting there, it helps combat that. It has an industry-leading three-year manufacturer warranty against any defect. We've gone through and reverse engineered this manifold to flow up to 20% larger exhaust volume, which in turn lowers those EGTs and makes the truck that much easier to drive. With the factory manifold removed, you can now prep the surface of the cylinder head for reinstallation of your Big Boss manifold. In our shop, we use a Rolock pad. In the box with the manifold, you'll notice a set of ink and ale seals and some instructions on the direction that they need to be installed. You can see in this process, we're using a two and a half inch diameter pipe to evenly distribute pressure to push the seal in place onto the end joints. If you don't have a two and a half inch piece of pipe, a standard flat blade screwdriver carefully tapping the seal in place onto the end joints. With the ink and nail seals installed, it's now time to put the end joints into the center section of the manifold. Once again, align it, set it flat on the floor, and tap the end joints into the center section of your manifold. It is recommended that you use some type of anti-seize 
on the exhaust manifold bolts before reinstallation. You can see we use the NSCs on all the bolts evenly distributed. It's now time for installation of the Big Boss manifold. We like to set it up there and ensure the correct bolt hole alignment before you start to install the gaskets. Once alignment is checked, set your gasket in place, then slide the bolt through to hold the gasket in place along your top row of bolts. With the top row of bolts started holding the gaskets in place, you can then finish starting the rest of the bolts around the manifold. When reinstalling the manifold bolts, we recommend a 50 foot-pound torque spec, starting with the top bolt, then moving to an opposing bottom bolt, working from the center to the outsides. Once you've properly torqued all the bolts holding the manifold to the cylinder head, you can move down to the EGR flex bellow that needs to be installed. It will only go on one way with a male end on one side and a female on the other. If you start it on the EGR cooler side, compressing it as you slide it into place, it should go on fairly easily and install your two V-band clamps. There will be new gaskets in the install kit for these components. From here, you can move up to the back pressure sensor tube and the coolant line while there's still easy access to reattach. There are new O-rings available for all of these lines that require them. Using the new turbo studs supplied with the exhaust manifold, we find it easiest to install two studs into the exhaust manifold, ensuring that the threads are seated all the way into the manifold. The other two studs install into the turbo flange. And when everything is seated properly, install the turbo to the manifold. With all four studs and nuts, aligned, seated, and started, you can now properly torque the four to 50 foot-pounds as well. Now with the turbo mounted to the exhaust manifold, you can start reinstalling the coolant lines and the electrical harness plug-ins in pretty much reverse order of how you took them off. Now, with your coolant lines and your electrical harnesses reconnected, drain tube and supply line for the oil also reconnected, you can move over to the exhaust housing adapter for the NOx sensor. While reinstalling the exhaust adapter, be sure to align the gasket with the alignment hole as it's going together. At this point, you can reinstall the exhaust downpipe and securely fasten the V-band clamp. You can now reinstall the NOx sensor into the exhaust adapter. As we've talked about with this being a direct replacement, you can easily move the heat shield from the front side of the exhaust manifold over to the new Big Boss exhaust manifold, securely fastened with the three provided bolts. Now we move over to the compressor intake tube, installing it first into the front cover, then set your compressor adapter in place, making sure it is properly aligned for your intake tube, and insert the intake tube and tighten, being sure to align the key on the flange. Reinstall the V-band clamp, tighten. Next, you can move to your intake air piping, reinstalling, and tightening the clamps on the rubber boots. The final piece to reassemble being your charge air cooler piping. Again, ensure V-band clamps are tightened securely, as well as your charge air cooler clamps for a proper seal. For our final step, we'll reinstall the drain plug for the coolant, and then refill the coolant reservoir along with the radiator, and ensure that it is properly circulated throughout the engine. 
All right, guys, that concludes our step-by-step -step installation video for our new 7443 ISX and X15 exhaust manifold. As always, after a job like this, you want to start the truck, let it get up to temperature, circulate that coolant through, get any air bubbles out, check for any leaks, just give it a good once over. But uh, this truck here is all set, ready to go. 2021 Peterbilt with the new Big Boss exhaust manifold installed, ready to get out there and hit the road and take advantage of those benefits that these new parts bring. And if you want to learn more about these parts, as always, you can see us on www.pdidiesel.com or give us a call. Our sales team here will happily walk you through every option available for your truck to help maximize your efficiency and power out on the road. Thank you.